Welcome to the video tutorials for the QCells Rooftop Planner. This video covers home and project. After logging into the Rooftop Planner, you will find yourself in the Home section. You can see the main navigation bar across the top of the screen. The appearance of the main navigation bar depends on whether you have opened an existing project or are creating a new project. In this area of the home screen, you will find up-to-date information about the Rooftop Planner. The grey area at the top right always shows the name of the current project, its performance and how many modules are being used. This information area is always visible, irrespective of which area of the rooftop planner you are in. In projects with a small folder icon to the right of the project name, more than one roof area has been defined. Clicking on this symbol opens the Roof Area Manager, where you can see the roof areas that have already been defined. The following functions are available. In the ribbon of the Create New Roof button, Open Roof, Copy Roof, Delete Roof. Clicking on the white tooth wheel allows you to change the language, change your data, or log out. In the Settings area, you can use the Log Out and Language Selection functions with which you can set the language in which you wish to use the Rooftop Planner. In the My Data section, you can store your data and your logo. This data is then taken into account when preparing the project report and the bid generator. The project list gives you direct access to the last five projects that you have worked with. Clicking on the button New Project takes you to the project area where you start planning a new project. The Open Project button starts a dialog in which your projects are tabulated. The input field allows you to search for projects either by title or by project location. Click on the desired project to open it and take you automatically to the project area. In addition to searching and filtering, the Manage Project function also includes the important function for copying projects so that you can quickly create a second version of your project and make changes to that copy. You can decide to copy the entire project or to include only the project and roof areas in the new copy. The input fields in the master data are used to describe the project, assign a meaningful project name. The best way to find a project address is with Google. To do this, click on the button next to the input fields. The following dialog opens. Enter the project address in the input field. The ideal format is the address format of the country you are designing the project. Google will match your search results during input. Select the desired match or simply press the return key on your keyboard to start the search on Google. The view can be changed from map to satellite mode. If the location fits, click on Save as Project Address. If not, Click on the desired building or plot of land. Google then automatically determines the appropriate address data. After you have established the address, you can enter additional data such as a phone number and notes. If the delivery address is different from the project address, you can assign it here. You can do this either by filling in the input fields or you can use the Google Dialog to search for the delivery address the same way as with the project address. If the delivery address is the same as the project address, all you have to do is click on this button. Project address data is then transferred in its entirety. Save your entries by clicking on the Save button. The application acknowledges successful saving by means of a corresponding notification.